Mr. President, I'm here to urge that my colleagues in Congress and the Obama administration provide the funding for the Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program, or LIHEAP. As you know, in Connecticut, LIHEAP provides immediate critical heating assistance for families and seniors in need during these freezing cold winter months. Last year, more than 45,000 New Hampshire households received LIHEAP funds. That's more than 106,000 individuals. But unfortunately, this year, many of those families have been on waiting lists. Funding for the program has been in limbo at a time when temperatures are dropping. Now, the Department of Health and Human Services here in Washington has released $1.7 billion, but so much more is needed. And making matters worse, the Energy Information Administration projects a 10% increase in the price of heating oil this winter. That's the highest average winter price ever predicted. In New Hampshire, more than half of our homes rely on home heating oil. It's one of the highest percentages in the country. And the number of families that need assistance is growing every day. State offices are being forced to change funding, eligibility levels for funding as they grapple with uncertainty over future funds. Now, Mr. President, there are two things that can be done in order to immediately address this situation before it escalates into a serious, an even more serious crisis. First, Congress needs to pass an omnibus appropriations bill as soon as possible. And I'm really pleased to see the positive progress on this issue that um, there has been an agreement announced on an omnibus appropriations measure. Um, and hopefully we're on track to pass that bill either today or tomorrow. Now, the omnibus includes nearly three and a half billion dollars in funding for LIHEAP but we need to get that money out the door. So the second thing that can be done once Congress has spoken is that the administration needs to release additional LIHEAP funds as quickly as possible. The 1.7 billion that's already been released is not enough, but the knowledge that additional LIHEAP funds are pending in the omnibus bill and that we're about to pass that should give President Obama the assurance he needs to release more money. I hope once the budget is passed, the administration will release these additional funds as soon as possible. Because at this holiday season, what better gift could we provide to those families in need than to make sure they have the funds to keep their houses warm this season? Now, I know it's difficult to argue for more funding these days because our deficit challenges are clear. In fact, um, here in the Senate, we've already voted, and I was one of those votes, for more than a trillion dollars in cuts to federal spending this year. And I've continued to call for a comprehensive, balanced, bipartisan plan that looks at both revenues and spending. I've been part of a working group here, a bipartisan working group, that now has over 40 senators calling for a $4 trillion deficit reduction proposal over the next 10 years. But when we cut our budget, we need to look at wasteful spending, at duplicative programs, and at subsidies to industries that no longer need our help. And LIHEAP, Energy Assistance for Low-Income Families, doesn't fall under any of these categories. It's not a frivolous program. It's a program that ensures that the vulnerable citizens in New Hampshire and across this country are not forgotten and left in the cold this winter. I've been hearing from people across New Hampshire about the difficulties they're going to face if this funding isn't available and available soon. And I want to just share one of these stories. It's the story of Kim Brandolini from Nashua. In 2010, Kim suffered a series of strokes that left her disabled and unable to work. LIHEAP funds covered nearly all of her monthly fuel costs that last year. But this year, because of the cuts, she's on the waiting list. She doesn't know how she's going to pay to heat her home. 
She already owes the oil company $600, and last year she had to pay $6,000 to replace a broken boiler. Kim's only 44 years old. She's raising a son all by herself. And previously, she served for 14 years in the Army Reserve. Kim doesn't deserve to be in this situation. In Nashua, which is one of the warmest parts in New Hampshire, the average nightly low is below freezing for nearly half of the year. And if we don't find a way to fund LIHEAP now, Kim and thousands of others like her will have no way to keep their families safe and warm. We need to act, and we need to act quickly. Already, the delay in funding LIHEAP has prevented states like New Hampshire from taking advantage of more affordable bulk purchases of home heating oil. The bottom line is, now that we have a budget agreement, we need to release additional funds so that thousands of New Hampshire families stay warm and don't have to make impossible choices between their basic needs this winter. We can't leave families like Kim Brandolini's out in the cold this winter. So I'm hopeful that we can get this budget passed as soon as possible and that the Obama administration will release additional LIHEAP funds before Christmas and the end of the year.